Hi everyone, this is Brian with Anderson Pens, and today we're going to take a look at the new ST DuPont Guyoche Line D. Let's take a look. Okay, so here we have the brand new ST DuPont Guyoche. This is currently a North American uh, exclusive, and it comes in three outstanding colors. This is the Line D Large, and I'll show you what makes that uh, the large in just a minute. It's, well, it's the largest pen they make. It is slightly larger than the medium, but we'll get there eventually. Three colors here, they're gorgeous. We've got this beautiful red, uh, kind of a brick red, almost an amber with a gold trim. We've got a nice sapphire blue, and we've got this beautiful, beautiful tealish turquoise, really good looking, both of these pens with the silver trim. So they all have the same kind of underlying pattern. You can really see it on this particular pen here. And then they use lacquer over the top in DuPont, classic DuPont fashion. It's very smooth. You can actually, it's just really a very smooth feeling. Um, three pens, fountain pen, roller ball. They come with 14 karat nibs, cartridge converters. Let's take a look at one of these pens in, uh, detail. So I'm going to grab this guy here. And of course, these are, are, are metal, metal body pens underneath. So they have some weight to them. They have some heft. We've got the classic DuPont shield up here on the clip. And the clip has quite a range of travel. So this is great for wherever you put it uh, in your pocket. Uh, you could put it in your pants, I suppose. Um, but it's gonna fit in any uh, thickness of fabric or pen case. It's really, really nice. Uh, and it's not gonna bend if you try to force it into something that's a little bit too big. Uh, cap band here, of course, ST DuPont, uh, France on the back, and then of course their little hallmark. But just a gorgeous color. It just, it's an unusual color for a pen. On the top, we've got the DuPont logo kind of set underneath the the lacquer there that's really a neat look and let's get to the meat here the cap posts with a nice little click so it's securely on there uh, it's not going to come off much like uh, a number of other pens have this feature in fact it even take a little bit just to get it off so you know once you put it on there and you hear that little snap uh, you're good to go um, it's, it's a big pen posted, so you might not need that. There it is in the hand. Let's take a look at the features of the barrel here. The difference between the Line D large and the Line D medium, uh, most obvious is going to be this fluted section here. So the mediums all have a plain metal section, whereas this has got this, this, uh, this fluting, this striping here, which in the hand, really kind of gives it a little bit of grip, a little bit of texture, you can feel that. So your hand, fingers aren't gonna necessarily slide around uh, as much as they would in a plain metal section. And also just a really nice look to it. Let's take a look at the side of the nib here. Here's the nib. Um, it's got a beautiful engraving on it. And interestingly enough, much different than just a plain nib. Most manufacturers make a straight nib. They've actually done a little bit of design here on the side as it wraps around. Very, very nice. Uh, there's your feed, not much to talk about there, but a good looking pen. Um, open it up here, cartridge converter. Like I say, it's a good feel in the hand. It's got some weight to it. It's not a light pen, but it's also not very, very thick. It's not very uh, broad, so the weight is, you know, is, is counterbalanced by that. You know, you get a lot of heavy pens that are large, they're long, they're uh, a brass barrel, but then they're also thick. And this is not, not necessarily one of them. Um, it's got some weight. And again, we can, we can snap that on there if we want. The capping mechanism, of course, uh, on the cap, it's friction fit, and it has that classic DuPont click to it. Um, Nice and secure, easy to get off, but it's not going to accidentally, it's not accidentally gonna fall off, but it's so easy to, to, to uncap. Uh, 
good looking pen. Let's take a little bit closer depth look at some of the other ones. Just at the pattern, here's your blue. You can see some of the, the black underlying coming through. Really a nice, nice, beautiful, bright blue. And uh, the red with the gold trim, really, this one is really fantastic. You can see a little bit of an amber color almost. Changes color as you, as you rotate it in the light. Very nice looking. Gold trim is very, very, it's regal. It's, it's really a nice looking pen. It's not a pen to use if uh, you don't want attention because this pen will grab attention. Really good looking pen. Let's, uh, let's do a writing sample. Okay, so I've got the fine nib here. And I've got my trusty Rhodia pad. We're gonna do just a couple passes here and we'll see, uh, see how this goes. Very, very smooth and very impressed already. Um, it's uh, fairly firm. There's no, no give to it, no spring. But boy, could you write fast with this if you needed to? It keeps up, and it's a nice, nice writing pen. So there you have it, the new ST DuPont Line D Guilloche. Be sure to check us out online at andersonpens.com or our stores in Appleton in Chicago. Thanks for watching.